I can't wait to see what illusion you've come up with for us. One of those romantic boy meets girl, boy loses girl stories. It's better than that. Hi, I'm Sam. Uh, I built the Rocket Bunny R32 Skyline that I've got here. I originally bought it as a complete bare shell. It was an imported, Im well, imported car, obviously. Started off with the original plan to just make it a standard R32 Skyline. Um, a few mods uh, just to do drifting. But as soon as I finished that, obviously things changed. So once, once I drove it a few times, I wasn't quite happy with it. Took it off the road and then I spent another probably two and a half years building it to what it is now. Got some fire. It was the first version 2 Rocket Bunny R32 Skyline uh, that was made. It's got an RB25 from a Series 2 RB25 from the Nissan Skyline R33. From when I decided to change the car, I started off with what it was going to look like. Uh, the first thing was I'd never seen a uh, Rocket Bunny R32 Skyline, so then that was the biggest commitment for me having an Im image in my head and trying to make it into the car itself. So the first things first was trying to source the kit itself. Um, so I spoke to Kinzuru Kits, which are the sponsor from my drift team, uh, Automotive Works. Um, and they organized a deal with me where basically we managed to import uh, a genuine kit from TRA Kyoto. And once we got that kit, they could mold their kits from that. So they have one of the best kits out there because it was molded directly from one of the original kits. They then sent me the original kit and that's what we have here today. First things first, uh, it was all fitted and then deciding on the colour. The colour was always going to be purple. Um, but finding the purple was a very, very difficult thing to do. You see purple cars if you look on YouTube or you look on Google and you think it looks brilliant. Finding that actual colour is ridiculously difficult. So I worked with um, Auto Paints Express, which is one of the paint sponsors that I've got, and they helped us design a custom colour with a custom flake and uh, get that sorted. And that's how we ended up as we are here today. If you pop the bonnet, you'll see the engine bay is orange instead. Lots of people ask us why they painted orange. Why not? Um, the paint itself in the engine bay is actually heat resistant as well so there shouldn't be any flaking or anything like that from the, from the turbo that we've got on it. Engine mods wise uh, we started with a standard RB25. At the moment the engine isn't opened, it's just running the standard internals. Eventually we'll go on to the reliability side of things when it starts breaking down, pushing too much power through it. I went for the single turbo option using a six boost manifold and went for a Holford HY35 so it would spool up reasonably quickly but still have plenty of top end power. Who knows what power it is at the moment. Um, after I built this I got the ECU software, um, learned how to use the ECU software and then spoke with uh, Ian Wally from the GDR shop and he talked us through how to do a sort of base map, uh, helped us out with the initial starting of the base map and then I've just mapped it myself from there. So it hasn't been on any rolling roads, it's just been mapped to the correct EFR and uh, it's running pretty good at the moment so once I do a few more things then I'll put it on the rolling road and get someone, uh, someone to fully map it and then we'll see what power figure are actually pulling out. We then got lock mods, so the lock mods and uh, the geo setup of the car is fully adjustable arms all the way around. On top of the fully adjustable arms, we've got the extended lower arms on the front, which were just custom made by myself. And then we're using GeoMaster V2 uh, hub knuckles, which drop the car 60 millimeters to start with without having to lower the suspension. So you keep the roll center correction um, right. And then knuckles allow the car to have easy enough lock for uh, all the drifting purposes. So yeah, there's lots of other mods to the car, but um, engine wise, basically everything to suit that HY35 turbo. Uh, 
the 2017 season I should be competing in Drift Outlaws and uh, doing the seeding day I got my drift license for their, um, their season so they'll be unveiling the tracks shortly hopefully so we're really looking forward to that. Uh, I might drop into Drift Cup and then if things go well in Drift Cup I might drop into BDC but Drift Outlaws is the main one that we're focusing on for the 2017 season so let's see everyone there. I need to say a big thank you to the sponsors that have helped us out through the build as well. Um, Rotor, Kinzuru, E-Tires, various other ones. Um, they'll all be listed on my Instagram. You can find more photos of the build and the car itself at smoody underscore S-A-N on Instagram. Um, and I've also got a build thread on Driftworks. If you just search Rocket Bunny R32 Skyline in Google, I'm sure it'll be there. So, see you there.